Hi, my name is Eleanor Rajaratnam and I'm an aerodynamicist here at Aston Martin Aramco Formula One team. So my day to day involves a mix of both computational and experimental testing. So what I do when I come in first thing in the morning is that I'll look at my computational results from the night before. I'll assess these and I'll see which are the most interesting. That could be the most performant or the, the ones that give us a sort of desired flow field effect that we've been looking for. So the most interesting and the most performant. And we'll take those, we'll shape a wind tunnel testing program around these, and then we'll send them off to the aero model designers who will create wind tunnel parts. So I think that's what we do as aerodynamicists in F1 as well. We have an idea, a concept, we draw it, we test it, and then it goes to the race car. Our time to market is a lot quicker, and that's what I enjoy the most. It's that fast-paced work lifestyle, high pressure, and having like-minded individuals who are also the same. We are constantly pushing here at this team, and I think um, everyone of my colleagues, everyone that I work with, everyone in the team are highly driven individuals. So it's really, it's a real boost to my day. I'm, I never come into work not wanting to be here. I'm always excited for the next day, excited to see my results after all my simulations the night before, excited to see how my options are going to perform in the wind tunnel. Uh, it's a really thrilling, I think, industry to be a part of. I always say that there's multiple ways to get into this industry. There's no one route. I took something that was very unconventional, so I did a MEng, so an integrated master's at Queen Mary University in aerospace engineering. But then I felt like I needed something more to help me stand out, you know. So what I did is I ended up applying to, to do PhDs because I felt like that would help me stand out from the crowd. And um, I was lucky enough to be offered one by Loughborough University. And I think my PhD was amazing for me. Not only did it teach me a really good mix of computational and experimental skills, it really taught me how to concentrate, develop an idea and um, see it from the fruition of an idea or thought all the way to the end. So I think there's a misconception really um, of, from students from that level, um, even from secondary school, that you know, you need to do things a certain way to get into Formula One, but that's really not the case. I think it's really important to persevere, keep pushing and know that even if you have stumbling blocks that every day you're one day closer to your goal. And I think that's really what I focused on during my PhD. And that's how I was able to get through it and eventually get a land a role in F1.